गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम श्रीधर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स गवर्नमेंट पास स्टेट कॉलेज कोलार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेव ऑप्टिक्स इन इंटरफेरेंस दैट इज सेशन वन फॉर फोर्थ सेम सेकेंड ईयर इन इंटरफेरेंस टुडे नो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव सर दिस इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव मीनिंग इट सेल्फ सेज इट कंसिस टू वेव्स वन इज द इलेक्ट्रिक वेव the other is called as the magnetic wave that means electric field and magnetic field combinedly called as electromagnetic wave say the direction say this is called electric wave that means the pink color again blue color which is called as magnetic wave electric wave is represented by e magnetic wave is represented by b say these electric wave and magnetic wave are perpendicular to each other that means the angle between electric and magnetic wave is 90 degree again the propagation is also perpendicular to the direction <coughs> see here that means electric and magnetic waves are perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of propagation that is the direction of electric and magnetic fields are mutually perpendicular to each other e and b are mutually perpendicular to each other as well as to the direction of propagation of the wave such a wave is called as what electromagnetic wave see here the variations in both electric and magnetic fields occur simultaneously see here? when this is all, when this is 90 degree this is also in that means the variation both varies simultaneously therefore they attain their maxima and minima at the same place and at the same point again the speed of the electromagnetic wave depends entirely on the electric and magnetic properties of the medium that means the speed of the wave p depends entirely on the magnetic and electric properties of the medium in which the wave travels and not on the amplitudes of their variations see the wave is propagating along x axis with speed see the wave is traveling along x axis with a speed c that is given by 1 by root of mu not epsilon not here mu not is called as permeability of the medium which is given by mu not is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 entry per meter again epsilon not is called as permittivity of the medium that is free space permittivity of the free space which is given by 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter see so, that means the <coughs> electromagnetic wave entirely depends upon the electric and magnetic properties of the medium in which it travels and not on the amplitudes of the variation the speed is given by c is equal to 1 by root of mu not epsilon not mu not is permeability of this free space epsilon not is permittivity of this free space again for discussion of the optical property of electromagnetic wave more significance is given to the electric field more significance is given to the electric field than the magnetic field therefore electric field is called as what light vector again <coughs> see here no we are going to discuss wave front before going to discuss wave front how a wave is formed sir you will take a still water when you will throw a water stone on the surface of still water that means waves are formed that means when this still water that mean medium is disturbed that means the waves are formed so a wavelet a wavelet is the point of disturbance due to propagation of light that means wave is nothing but what wavelet is nothing but point of disturbance due to propagation of light is it a wave front is the locus of points so this is the locus of points which are in same phase of the oscillation same phase of oscillation the locus in a wave the locus of all points which are in same phase of oscillation then it is said to be what wave front a line perpendicular to a wave front is called as a ray so this is the perpendicular to the wave front therefore it is called as what ray that means the red line is nothing but what say this is one ray this is another ray like that that mean the 
line perpendicular to a wave front is called as what ray that means red line is called as a ray again blue envelope say this is the blue envelope which is called as wave front again there are three types of <coughs> wave front so this is the spherical wave front this is cylindrical wave front this is plane wave front so here <coughs> spherical wave front means the wave front from a point source that means if the wave is nearer to the point source then it is a spherical wave front that means when you will drop a stone on still water surface of still water that means you will get the spherical wave front that means the waves are in spherical that is circles and so it is called as spherical wave front from a point source again say this is the cylindrical wave front that means if the source is linear then the waves are cylindrical say the blue circle blue lines shows what or the blue envelope which gives the wave front that means which is in the form of a cylindrical wave front which is from a linear source again the wave front coming from a long distance which is nothing but plane wave front that means if the source is at a further distance then the wave front is nothing but wave plane wave front that means the waves receiving from the sun or nothing but plane wave front example <coughs> again huygens construction or huygens principle of secondary wavelets see so according to huygens principle Principle, Huygens principle is also called as sometimes called as Huygens Fresnel's principle. States that each point on a given wave front, each point on a given wave front, gives gives wave front in a source of secondary wavelets or secondary disturbances. So each point on a wave front acts as a fresh source of disturbance of light. So this is a wave front. each point on the wave front acts as a fresh source of disturbance of light again the new wave front at any time later is obtained by taking the forward envelope of all secondary wavelets at the same time at that time so this is the spherical wave front this is the new spherical wave front again this is the new plane wave front plane wave front so here backward wave front is rejected by amplitude of secondary wavelet is proportional to 1 plus cos theta divided by 2 which is proportional to 1 plus cos theta divided by 2 obviously for the backward wavelet theta is equal to what 180 degree therefore 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 0 cos 180 is zero. therefore you will get what zero <coughs> loss of reflection at a plane surface on huygens principle so here this is a plane separating two media so when light is incident it gets reflected that means these are the incident rays these are the reflected rays so here they, you will draw this is the normal the angle between the normal and the incident ray is called as i the angle between normal and the reflected ray is called as angle of reflection so here let c be the speed of light c be the speed of light t be the time taken by light to go from b to c see it? here we are consider we are drawing in our perpendicular ab is the perpendicular drawn to the three rays again uh, that is incident rays cd is the perpendicular drawn to the reflected rays see here the t is the time taken by the light to travel from b to c again same or a to d that means the time taken by the ray or light to travel from b c b to c is equal to a to d or e to g e to g which is also same okay e to g again <coughs> through the through f this is the point f incident then t is equal to e f by c t is equal to e f divided by c plus f g divided by c we know velocity is equal to distance by time or t is equal to what distance by velocity therefore it is given by t is equal to what e f divided by c plus f g divided by c where c is nothing but what speed of light here 
EF can be written as what? FG or, or sorry, EF can be written as what? AF. EF can be written as, sorry, in the triangle EAF, in the triangle EAF, sin I is equal to, by using sin I, therefore you will get EF is equal to AF sin I. Again, FG, that is in this triangle, which can be written as FG is equal to what? FC sin R. That means in the triangle, that is G, F, C, sin R you will take. Therefore, FG is equal to what? FC sin R. Again, by, by this terms can be written as T is equal to AC sin R plus AF sin I minus sin R. Because FC can be written as AC minus AF. On that basis, you will write T is equal to AC sin R plus AF into sin I minus R divided by C. For rays of light from different parts of the incident wave friend, the values of AF are different. The values of AF are different. But light from different points of the incident wave friend should take the same time to reach the corresponding points on the reflected wave friend. That means B to C is equal to A to D like that. So T should not depend upon AF. So, T should not depend, time should not depend upon the AF. This is possible only if sin I minus sin R is equal to 0 or sin I is equal to sin R or I is equal to R. That means angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. This is the what law of reflection. Again, the incident ray, the reflected ray and normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. These are the laws of reflection at a plane surface using Huygens principle. Okay, thank you. Thank you.